Trey Turner has not lived up to the 11-year, $300 million contract he signed in the offseason so far. He has a batting average under 250, an on-base percentage sub-300, and his OPS isn't even sniffing 700. What is wrong with Trey Turner, and why does it feel like he fell off a cliff all of a sudden? Subscribe if you haven't yet, and enjoy the video. After Trey Turner signed his enormous contract with the Phillies, people quickly began thinking that the Phillies offense would be one of the best in baseball. So far into the 2023 season, it has not lived up to that hype. Trey Turner just looks so off compared to his previous years, it is by far one of the worst seasons of his career, but why is that? We are just getting to the end of July, and Trey Turner already has 103 strikeouts. Last season with the Dodgers, he had 131 in total, and in 2021, he had 110. This shows that Turner never struck out at a high clip like we are seeing this year. On Baseball Savant, almost all of his percentiles are in the blue. If you don't know what that means, it means that it is not good compared to the rest of the league. His strikeout percentage ranks in the 35th percentile, while his walk rate is even lower at the 24th percentile. What's even crazier is his chase rate, which ranks in the 9th percentile. He is not barreling up the baseball and his whiff rate is terrible as well. These are not the usual Trey Turner numbers, but that is what we have seen so far this year. He can't ever seem to come up and get hits in clutch situations. He has the speed, but he doesn't use it to the fullest of his ability. He is 21 for 21 on stolen base attempts. Catchers can't throw him out, so why is he not running more often? There are 10 guys in the MLB with more stolen bases than Trey Turner. Getting on base is probably a reason he can't steal that often. Turner cannot get on base this year, and it is mostly because of his strikeouts. He's not walking, and he is striking out a lot, which is never a good recipe out of your number two hitter. He doesn't even have a high average to help his case. I have a couple theories as to what is wrong with Trey Turner. The first one is that he is getting older, so he is starting to regress. I don't believe this is the one to be true, because he is such a talented player, and if he has showed signs of declining, the Phillies would not have locked him up for a decade plus. The second theory is that he is doing exactly what Nick Castellanos did to us last year. He was terrible in his first year with the Phillies, providing almost nothing on offense, and this year, Castellanos has been amazing and was even named an All-Star. I believe that this is the theory to be true. Trey Turner is probably not used to playing in an environment like Philadelphia, so he needs time to adjust. The final theory I have is that he's just having a crazy long slump to start the year and will pick it up before the playoffs. This is the one I want to happen most because Turner is a key success point for the Phillies as they try to make another playoff push this season. Nobody knows what is wrong with Trey Turner, but I really hope he starts to figure it out. Thank you guys for watching the video and staying all the way to the end. If you stayed this far and you enjoyed the video, drop a like so I know you want to see more of this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't yet so you can stay up to date with all things Philly sports. If you just subscribed, leave a comment saying you did and I will reply back thanking you for the support. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future and I'll catch you guys in the next video.